Kiwi Farm Guy here with a new mod for Farming Simulator 22, and this is the KUHN HR3040 and Venta 3030 by Moose Agrar. 11.56 megabytes to download. It's actually two, uh, two items. Uh, first one is an integrated uh, Cedar Power Harrow, and there is also a Power Harrow. So the Power Harrow part of this is found here by itself. Now this is the HR3040, $17,500. Requires 90 horsepower, three meters in width at seven mile per hour working speed. It is quite simply just a Power Harrow. We're gonna buy that. Uh, notice that the base game has a four meter and a six meter, but this is a three meter. And that is to go along with the cedar that we've seen before us. And there it is, the HR3040 plus VETA 3030. So the VETA 3030 is the cedar, 150 horsepower required for this setup. I'd recommend a little bit more than that probably, but that's what it recommends. 1800 liters of seed capacity. Uh, that is five slots on console. This is for all platforms, but I'm on PS5. 2.9 tons, three meters wide, seven miles per hour. 2.9 tons, uh, just uh, take note of that. It is quite heavy. We have a license plate option. And it is what it is. It's just a three meter uh, cedar. Now, if we take a look at back here, it is not a direct drill. And that is something I have a little pet peeve about. Mini rant alert. <laughs> right, so first of all, <clears throat> here are the two items. So how these things work, as I will show you in a moment, it's an integrated or two-piece unit. We've had, a, the base game has a couple of these. We've seen these before. If we, well, let's look at the Power Harrow first. The Power Harrow is strictly just, that's what it is. It is a, uh, it is a cultivator. We have that one working or had it working out in the field. Um, it's basically lower it and raise it and turn it on. And the little, the little uh, finger thingies go ahead and they dig up the soil. That's pretty much what that is. Now, if we latch on to the cedar, what it is actually is, if we hook it up, notice there's two items at the top. Now, if we drop the cedar, oh, we got to lower it. Okay, lower it. And if we disconnect the cedar and pull forward, come on, pull forward. Well, it doesn't seem to want to disconnect, but that's, come on, there it is. There, so as you can see this way, there's the cedar part and the harrow part. Now you cannot buy the cedar separately. They come together as shown uh, in the store. You can buy the power harrow separately, but you can disconnect them and use this just as a power harrow. Now, so hook it back up, just back it up, and you should be able to, there we go. So, uh, to highlight your harrow, that's where you lift and lower the entire unit. Oh, great. So, I have them being demonstrated, or I have been using them in the field. Here is the power harrow by itself. Lower it, turn it on, L1 and square, and drive forward, and there it goes. It's a shallow cultivator or leaves a stubble tillage. Hire a worker, and away he goes. Right? Very simple. Okay. Moving on to the cedar. Now notice I'm on a cultivated piece of ground here. That is because what I did mention before, well, even though there is a power harrow attached to it, it will not cultivate a bare field. Uh, if we hire a worker here, he has no problem seeding in a uh, cultivated field, as we see here, and he's been doing it quite efficiently. Uh, another thing to note it is quite heavy. Notice this is a medium tractor and it is very light on the nose. I would highly recommend a weight <laughs> for sure. 
Right, so here we come over to a uncultivated, just a harvested patch of field. And if I turn it on, everything turns on. Power hair turns on, you drop it down, but it does not do anything. It won't work. You have to cultivate your field first. That is my pet peeve about these types of cedars with a power harrow. The power harrow doesn't do anything even though it turns on, sucks up power and you have to have it in order to use a cedar. It doesn't do anything. So, mm, yes, kind of peeved about that uh, particular mm, feature, I guess you could say. Or, And I don't think it's the modder's fault. I think it's how things work with this game and just the way it is so not a fan of these types of um, cedars period really um, there is a couple of things you can do that is uh, L1 and left it opens and closes your cover to add seeds and uh, you can unload there we go as shown here to refill you can just refill the seed pulling up to a seed bag like so very standard stuff uh, you can choose your seed type there standard cedar seeding type stuff plants and that's it there's no there's no uh, ridge markers or anything and that's pretty much it that's the KUHN HR3040 and forward slash venta 3030 30 by Moose Agar. Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.